I'm bored, you're bored. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Tell me what happened, Kodagiri. What happened to Shigaraki's hand? I... I don't understand. This... This CY student, he was different. He was malicious. And... Brutal. He seemed to enjoy what he was doing. I don't understand why. His quirk. I don't get it, but it is definitely not something you would want to go up against unaware. Seems like a earth manipulation, I guess. What was the student's name? So I know whose quirk I'm going to be stealing. Next. Izuku Midoriya. <laughs> uh, master all for what? <sighs> no. No, 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 no. You must be mistaken. What? What? No, that's... That's his name. That... No. That can't be it. How so? He shouldn't have a quirk. Uh, what? I took his quirk years ago. It's supposed to be environment manipulation. Quite powerful from what I gather. And under my. <clears throat> Either way. You must be mistaken. He can't have a quirk. That cannot be Izuki Midoriya. At least that earth manipulation quirk shouldn't be his. It's not possible. I gave him something, hopefully, to help me in the long run, but not that. What? Don't worry about it. If anything, give me some more information about this Izuka Midoriya. Apparently, I might have missed something. As now we cut to you away, in which, yeah, Izuku's malicious attack has got him some stairs. Mainly in the variety of the police and the heroes. Him, he doesn't know why he felt like that. He doesn't know why he felt so good just to be villainous. All of a sudden, the Bongo would find out like, okay, so that's a that's a thing. Pretty much worry because considering how strong Yuzuku's quirk is, as well as his backup of being a quirk nerd, he could come up with God knows how many other interesting tricks to utilize that quirk. But, at the end of the day, though he did uh, some messiness, he can't maybe really be arrested or arrested. But they are having some, uh, a few people keep an eye on him, one of which is being Cemento's dumb mistake, but oh well. 
This was midnight. Actually, a smarter choice. But Zuko's more or less um, okay. Midnight. Yeah, she can stop me. Unless I him just trapping her in a the cage, then sealing it off. Cementos. Uh, you guys do better than that. Him just lifting up Cementos. Like, Your name is Cementos. Your work is nothing compared to mine. Even all my looking at this is all right. I'll be the one in charge of you. <laughs> good, good. So now that we're talking. Hmm. But I really do wonder if you, if you're able to. What? He just walking off with all my following him. Cementos and Midnight are terrified. Cementos because Izuku can also go control him if the need be. Midnight, there was no air holes used in making her little prison. So, when she's free, she's a lot more happy than what you would expect. Inko, upon hearing this, she's not completely terrified, but she sure as hell knows, like, this isn't right. Izuku, what happened to you? This, this isn't you at all. No, it's not. But I don't understand why, Mom, but it feels right. <sighs> if you don't mind, I'm going to bed. N no, you're not. Excuse me. You're here to pack. What? We're going to have to keep an eye on you to, to ensure your safety. Really? Yes. <laughs> All right. That goes for you as well, Miss Midoriya. Your son outly challenged a villain to take him on, and that could be very problematic depending on the circumstances and how upset and powerful these villains are. And considering that they broke into UA, of all places. Understood. Hmm. Izuku is pissed? Ball and all's like, okay, fine. His attitude's changed. He feels more confident, but not to the level of arrogance, more like nonchalant. I don't give a damn. Which can be dangerous if utilized in evil purposes, believe me, I know. But, it's the whole fact that he's not really hesitant to start a fight or end a fight if need be. But either way, let's get to the whole sports festival, in which Izuku just buries everyone. And literally walks to the finish line. Whoever does try to get out and do, he just buries them again deeper. Because uh, the cavalry battle, people do want to be on his team. The only thing is, uh, they want to show off their quirks, and Izuku does not give a damn, and he refuses to. Uh, them steal any sort of spotlight for themselves, may included. So yes, he wins that, keeps them points, 
when it comes to the whole battle, yeah, he loses. But the only thing is, after he loses, this is when he goes ham on Shinso to a point where he can't participate. And Izuku is disqualified completely and utterly from ever even having a chance if they were going to give one to participate. Everyone starts muttering to themselves, wondering, wait, is that, is that you are doing it? He seems more like a villain academia type or something. And he is. He does. But what is with this rebellious, quick to anger type of attitude he has now? What's brought it on? <laughs> I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. What is it? Yeah. At first, I was worried. But this could actually prove to be very beneficial for us. What are you talking about? You see, a long time ago, before <laughs> this boy was four years old, I told his parents, or at least his father, of how dangerous his quirk was. Told them that I could see the future. I said that he would burn down the world. Whether he uh, told his wife or not. Well, that just depends. Uh, wait, so you did steal his quirk? Oh, yes. You'd be surprised what parents will do to protect their children. You know, that means hurting them. <sighs> Wait, but that doesn't explain. <laughs> I just gave him a different quirk. Something that affects his mind instead. It's a passive quirk that would take time to actually manifest, but if anything, I didn't expect it to manifest this soon. Um... If you don't mind, well, <clears throat> it's a mental quirk called corruption. It was actually a experiment I was ha I decided to make when I was combining quirks. I made at least two different versions. One for the body, which would contort and possibly. <laughs> mangle its user to a monstrous form and as well as could say one that affects and corrupts the mind and alters the personality you see this boy he used to be you could call him a cinnamon roll, but with that quirk manifesting, <laughs> no, no, more like a poison apple. You take one bite, and it's curtains for you. Uh, but uh, why? <sighs> Be honest. It wasn't supposed to manifest until later. I was hoping he would stay quirkless, but it seems though my plans have changed a, a little bit. What? Ah, yes. It's. I wanted him to. No doubt to uh, inherit 
That little quirk. What? You want to have this fire? No, no, no. I was hoping if I stage some events, if I orchestrated a few incidents, I possibly could have gotten that boy a quirk. One for all. And that was the moment the quirk was supposed to manifest. Corruption should have manifested as soon as he was able to get his hands on that quirk. I did research on the mother and father, which made it so much easier to manipulate the father, but knowing the mother, she would be so passive, so apologetic, feeling like it was her fault somehow. But, if anything, I could try something else. But the honest fact that he... <sighs> you know what? It's just a slight alteration. It shouldn't harm anything. But still... He should have only had a fire manipulation quirk. Makes no sense. How could he have another quirk that I didn't notice, that I didn't see before I implanted corruption in his mind? <sighs> no matter. You saw what he did when he got upset. Yes. Let's see how mad we can make him. As, yes, that is pretty much how that whole wackadoo ends. When it comes to Stain, he does want revenge, and Izuku is more than happy to tag along with him. The only thing is, Izuku does go a bit far. To a point where Stain, he sees him, he sees the smile, the crazed look in his eyes as Izuku is enjoying crushing him with his bare hands, or at least with the earth that surrounds them all. I thought I recognized you from the sports festival. You're more of a monster than I am. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not a monster. That's, that's so rude. I prefer being a demon. Young Midoriya? Hmm. He's going to turn his head and seeing All Might. Seeing the mangled body that is stained. Though he's not dead, he wishes he was. As All Might just looks at Izuku with utter shock, disgust, somewhat of hint of fear in his eyes, wondering... What in the hell? Oh. He catches the hero killer. Go us. Zuku just walking away. Oh my... No. Kill me. Is yes... All my rushes stay to the recovery girl, and she's surprised, but also like, why? <laughs> Just heal him. Something's not right here. Mm. Fine. But I do expect a full explanation, if you don't mind. 
and this is pretty much Izuku and Ia getting chewed out for, you know, going up against a hero killer, no hero license, yeah, 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 no permission to use them damn quirks. Is Izuku's just being like, I don't give a damn. Ida's like, I apologize profusely, as Ida would do. When it comes to the whole tests before a horse training arc, it's pretty much Izuku and Bongo as it would be in canon. The only thing is, Izuku wants to beat All Might 2. He doesn't want to run away. He doesn't want to capture. He wants to beat All Might. To have one over on the number one hero. Just have witnesses see the downfall of the number one hero. That's what he wants right there, right now. He doesn't even try to come up with a plan with Bakugo. He just runs in and starts attacking with the very buildings themselves. All of my is shocked at this. Like, I didn't know you could do that. As soon as he punches through the buildings, it just turns to dust. Particles. Crumbles. All my thinking, I didn't know I was that strong. I didn't know I could have that much. He starts seeing as every last piece of concrete started to slowly and surely crawl up from his toes straight up to his head. As then Izuku is pretty much positioning his hands and fingers as if they were uh, puppet strings. As he makes All Might dance. Makes All Might punch himself constantly until he admits defeat. And All Might, he has no choice. For some reason, he is completely at Izuku's mercy. He doesn't really get it, but... Okay, I'll explain. Have you ever tried to punch something full force, but something stops you before you can actually gain momentum or get your power to be right where you need it? Well, that's pretty much what Izuku did. When All Might does try to make a quick movement, Izuku condenses the whole little prison he's created. So... All Might is literally Izuku's puppet right now until he considers the fact like, yeah, I can't win this. He loses. Everyone saw it. You, who is class 1A, even the teachers, Nezu is wondering, we had to do something about this kid. I like winning. <laughs> it's so much fun uh, especially when there's no one strong enough to take me on isn't that right all might <laughs> Bago he didn't get to do anything he just stood there our shock is what the hell happened to you, man? And when it comes to the whole horse training, it goes similar to Canon except for when Basie Bob uses her little landslide, her monsters, Izuku just one shots them. He's he doesn't even really get caught up in the landslide, he just Standing on it is like, okay. Very interesting. This actually getting her, getting her to... <clears throat> interested. There we go. And he's actually interested too. He's... I don't think I've seen someone with a quirk so similar to mine. I never made golems, I don't think, before. What are you doing? 
He's a go just giving her a kiss on the cheek. Her melting <laughs> at the whole gesture. He's a go feeling like, yeah. Oh, that was too easy. I guess I've earned my reward. As then, yes, he sees Coda and Coda, he still ain't having none of that shit. So. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk anything with this kid here. And we're just walking off. So Ida gets punched in the balls this time. Yeah. Now, because of Osbring, it's still having similar to Kenny. Zuku just doesn't care. But he does take go to Mandalay. But she does tell him the story of her, his parents. Zuko feels sorry for him, but also feels like, okay, this is a way for me to get a little malicious. As yes, he pretty much promises Koda that he will bring Muscular to justice. Koda just not believing him. Now, let's get to the attack. It happens similar to canon, except Izuku is pretty much easily trapping villains. Beneath the ground, when Dobby tries to torch the place, Izuku just kicks up and pretty much has the trees be swallowed up to a point where, yeah, those trees are not lying up anytime soon. So Dobby captured because of Bongo and Togami being, you know, targets. It's actually Izuku who they want. Though, yes, it could be a little. Yeah, Bongo's court can be hella useful too. All the one wants Izuku personally. He doesn't want to really have him be a villain, as far as I know. Don't. Taking his quirk is definitely something he wants, but he won't tell nobody too much, you know. But at the very least, Izuku does get captured by accident. All because he was too busy to, to fight muscular, really. He was already able to save Kota and pretty much place him as far away from the fight as possible. It's just about that muscular. He doesn't let up at all. Especially with that quirk enhancer he put in his eye socket. So Izuku had no choice but to really focus on muscular completely as soon as Koda was safe. Which. Yeah, gives Mr. Compress all the time in the world to sneak up a. And poor Izuku and turn him into the sphere. Izuku captured. They have to leave now. But you can just imagine how pissed off everyone is. And honestly, got shocked. Dream was like, they captured Izuku. Yes. He was one of our strongest. And they captured him. Yes. Well, we are going to have to find his ass. I, I, I'm sorry, what? Yes. Who knows what they're doing to him? Is Izuku still in that sphere? Is pretty much. He can't do anything. He's he's stuck. He has no consciousness. He. If anything, Mister Compress just. Admiring his handiwork. His awful one just demands, okay, that's enough. Stop gawking at it, give it here. Release him. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, fine. 
But if anything goes down, yes, yes, I'll distract him while you restrain him again. And yes, Izuku is finally released. Him, this pawn just looking around saying, you bastard. He charges poor defenseless one for one. Only thing is, is all for one has a, a lot more versatility considering he has so many quirks. Izuku's whole thing is pretty much Earth. He doesn't know about bone build bending as well as metal bending, lava bending. He doesn't know any of that yet. He has no teacher yet. It's pretty much all for one is trying to talk with Izuku, but he's not having any of it. As he tries to crush, stab, slice, as well as mutilate on for one. Him being pretty much pissed off seeing how good his regeneration quirks are. Oh well. The only thing that really interests all for one right now. Hmm. I wonder why I could do with your quirk. What? As then Izuku is restrained again, but this time they, here's a quite a shock to the point where it zaps his energy away, pretty much having him fatigued and unable to really concentrate on what he's doing. So he's kind of incapacitated, as all for one is pretty much gloating on his genius. But he will admit. I didn't expect you to have another quirk for me to steal. This starts to have Izuku like, what? What do you mean steal? You can't steal. Wait. Another one. Yeah. You, you know your first quirk. It, it was... Very powerful. In fact, I am so happy. But this new one, I can just imagine what I could do with it. <laughs> no, 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 you, you, you gotta be kidding. How? That's not possible. You, you can't steal quirks. That's not how it works. That's, oh, yes. I like that face. Fear. Because you realize not only did I take away a quirk you had, I'm about to take away another one. No, 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 get your hands away from me. Izuku struggling but getting electrocuted as Alpha One begins the process, but is shocked to hear. Wait, there's nothing there. Huh? There's no quirk there. Unless, except for the one I planted. What? Is yes, Izuku. Like, can you say that again? Uh, yeah. Mr. Compress! As he yells out, bellowing throughout the halls, Mr. Compress showing up with his head on the pike. You didn't really think I was going to uh, let him uh, get away with what he did to me. So, let's talk about what you did to me. Orphan One has no choice but to break out the all-might killing weapon and 
hopefully it works on Izuku as there is a full force punch that completely gives away their location but right now he's just focusing on getting out of this. So far nothing he's planned has really gone as it was supposed to and all because this kid has a quirk, a quirk mind you that he can't steal. So if anything, he's pretty much like, you must be the user. In that case, why don't you give that quirk to me? User? What are you talking about user? I don't do drugs, no. You're, you have one for all, don't you? What's that? Oh, my damn pass on his quirk. To you. Hmm? Did he? Hmm, didn't know that was possible. Hmm. Huh. You know what? You're not worth it. <laughs> As then, this is pretty much when all the heroes show up to the awful one on his knees, uh, dead. Dr. Compress, when it comes to Toga, she's, she's liking the psychoticness. She, she can't lie. She, she's enjoying what she's seeing. Much to the intrigue of Izuku. But as a last ditch effort, Awful One rushes Izuku full force. And... To protect his new possible love interest, Toga, he pushes her out of the way and off of one snatches. I mean, he rips out the corruption quirk out of Izuku's mind and it hurts beyond what he's ever felt before. Though, yes, it wasn't his base quirk, having something given to you regardless be ripped out of you? Maybe it hurts. As yes, Izuku, he's convulsing. He's starting to foam at the mouth and spasms out into a full seizure. Heroes having no choice but to act quickly as All Might deals with all for one. And yeah. He, Oval One didn't have any other plans besides go full on crazy ass kaiju esque mode and completely start his rampage throughout the city. As Izuku is carted off to the nearest hospital and placed within a coma. And it takes. A fuck ton of heroes to actually go up against this new awful one. Because though, yes, he is huge as well as kind of stir crazy due to the corruption quirk. He still has a lot more quirks that he may use willy nilly for no apparent reason other than to... Pretty much be a hassle or a complete utter destruction of property. And yes, this is the whole situation with Izuku in the hospital. Awful One is in kaiju form being dealt with by a shit ton of heroes including All Might. Only thing is, Toga, though she is a villain, she surrendered. Because she, for some reason, wanted to be uh, at Izuku's side for some reason. He protected her, even though they started out as enemies.
Maybe that corruption quirk wasn't as potent as he thought against Izuku. Or maybe Izuku is just already crazy. Who knows?